In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a custom domain to Cloudflare pages. So if you've deployed a project, maybe you've deployed your GitHub project to Cloudflare pages, and now you want to add a custom domain, this video will walk you through everything that you need to do step by step, and I'll explain it all in plain English. So we're going to start at the very basics. We're going to start on the Cloudflare homepage, and I'm just going to close out of these. So we'll just keep hosting it open which is the domain registration company that I used to register my domain. And then obviously we've got Cloudflare here. Now this won't be a video showing you how you can deploy your project to Cloudflare. I've already done that. And what you need to do is obviously do that first. I'll have a video in the description that shows you how to do that. But once you're on the Cloudflare dashboard, scroll down and go to compute workers, then click workers and pages. Once you've done that, you'll then see all of your websites here. And what I would do is I will click on visit and that will open up the deployment using this URL here from Cloudflare. Now this URL is going to be important. So I'd keep your website open. As you can see, mine is a very simple to do list. This is just being created just for this video. Now what we're going to do as well, remember we're on workers and pages, click into your deployment and here you'll see custom domains. Go ahead and click on that and we can go ahead and add a custom domain to your site. You can do it this way. You can also do it by going into your account home, but we'll do it this way. You are gonna to have to come back to this and tweak some stuff, but just follow along and you should be good. And you should be able to learn here in plain English. I'm not gonna explain this with technical jargon. I'm gonna explain in plain English. Set up custom domain, click on that. Then go ahead and find your domain. I'm gonna find mine on Hostinger. So I've already logged in. We're going to go to the domain section. I'm going to connect knowledgebaseonline.com. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the domain. We'll head back to add a custom domain. I'll type in www.knowledgebaseonline.com. Obviously you put your domain here, very simple, click continue. So now it might give you two methods. To be honest, this was different to what I seen before but just go ahead and click on any of these two methods. Now, you are gonna to have to add stuff manually and follow along what I do in a second, but what I'm gonna do is we're going to begin the DNS transfer. This will probably be the button you see, so just go ahead and click on that. Don't worry about the other one. Click begin DNS transfer and we'll go through this here. So now it's going to want you to manually enter some DNS records or you can quick scan for DNS records but you're still gonna have to add them manually anyway. But don't worry, we haven't done anything complicated yet. So go ahead and type in again your domain here. So I'm gonna type www.knowledgebaseonline.com. I'm gonna select quick scan, and this is what you will see as well. And then we'll click continue, and it's then gonna scan the DNS records. We'll just get rid of this, and we'll just go with the root domain here. Now don't get overwhelmed with what you see, you might get a bit confused but just follow along. It's gonna ask you what plan you wanna use, click free. And if you are committed to getting this connected, you're on the right video, because I'll show you everything that you need to do. So once you've clicked on your plan, it's then gonna load your domain here, and it then should do a scan of all of your records. So we'll just be patient and wait for this to scan. Okay, so now we've got that scanned. It's gonna say that they've scanned, but there are some DNS records that you need to add because you haven't got them all. Obviously, now, if you've not added no records, if your domain is fresh, if you've reset the DNS settings inside of your domain, it isn't going to obviously connect straight away just by you typing in the domain. It's gonna want you to add some records here. Now, it's also gonna say invalid name servers up here. So there are two things that you need to change. Now, we're gonna start with the name servers and we'll come back to the DNS records shortly. So what you need to do, is go to your domain overview. So once you've typed in your domain, it's gone to this window, you'll then be able to click in the top left and go to domain overview. Now what we need to do is we need to log into our DNS provider. For me, that is gonna be Hostinger. We need to turn off DNSSEC. So if you go to your domain provider, you then go to the DNS area, you'll then probably see DNSSEC here. Now if you click on it, if it says nothing found or if it, this is turned off, this is what you're looking for. You don't need this to be on. If it's on, you must turn it off. So as you can see, nothing found. That's all good for us. We can go to the next step, which is gonna be replace the name servers with Cloudflare's name servers. 
So what we do, we go ahead and click copy. So we've copied the first name server. And then you go to the name server area in your back end of your domain. So I'm using Hostinger. You may be using a different domain registration company, but in the back end, you'll see change name servers. Click on it and you want to click change name servers. And then you can replace name server number one with the first name server given to you by Cloudflare. Then copy name server number two. And again, replace that by the name server given to you by Cloudflare. So just double check in here, here's name server number one, here's name server number two, and we need to replace it from these name servers which already exist, which we've just done. We can then click save, and then the name servers have now been changed, and we can now close out of this. So now we've got these name server changed, we can go ahead and check the name servers now, and it's gonna go ahead and check these. Now, while these are being checked, we can go ahead and do the next thing, which is change the DNS settings. Now, everything that we change now will be inside of Cloudflare. And to be honest, it is very easy. It's like two settings and you're done. You are going to have to wait up to 48 hours for these settings and changes to propagate. But the chances are it will go through in under an hour and you'll be all set up and all on your way. So now we've added and updated the name servers. We now go to DNS. And again, this is on the domain overview. In DNS, what you need to do now is add two CNAME records. Now, if you scroll down here, you've probably got a CNAME record, which is going to another URL that you don't want it to go to. I can guarantee this will be here. So look for the already existing CNAME record with the name www. Click on the checkbox, scroll up and delete this record. We'll just type in delete here and we'll make sure that has gone. Now we can go ahead and add two DNS records here. So go add record. You wanna go type CNAME and then for the name type www. Now we need to open up the URL of your website or app that's already been deployed. And remember we got this from going to compute workers, workers and pages, and then clicking visit on our website. What we can do then is copy this here. So we'll click copy. Hope you're all following along. To be honest, I hope I'm doing a good job, but this is as plain as English as it can get. Then paste in this URL into the target and delete any of these dashes, delete HTTPS, you just want the actual URL here. To do video.pages.dev, just like you can see it here on the screen. So once you've entered that in target, remember we've got CNAME, www, and this target here. Then click save and that should update and go through no problem. Then we need to do this once more. Add record, type CNAME, then type at. This is gonna be for your root domain. So the first one is gonna be for www. And the second one that we're adding right now is gonna be for yourdomain.com. So type in at, and then again, we paste in this here from the website or app URL that you've already got here from Cloudflare pages. Again, hope you're all following along. We'll delete all of these dashes and we'll click save. And that again should go through no problem. If it doesn't, you've got a conflicting record here. So let's go ahead and see. So we're looking for a C name record, or in our case, it is this A record, which seems to just be going to knowledgebaseonline.com. So we'll go ahead and remove this A record. As you can see, C name all looks good. MX record, you don't need to deal with any of this. TXT record is fine. We'll delete this A record here. Once that's gone, we now should be able to save this and add this record. There you go. You can see it's gone through fine. So now we've got two C name records. One goes to www. your URL, and then the other one is just your root domain, and it goes to your URL. So now we've done that. Be a bit more patient. We're nearly done. Now we'll go back to Cloudflare dashboard. Once we're back on the dashboard, you should then see your domain. It might not be active yet because it can take a while for the DNS servers to propagate. All we need to do now is go to compute workers again, workers and pages, click on your website, go to custom domains, then set up custom domain. Then type in www.yourdomain.com or yourdomain.net, whatever it is. 
So we'll copy then the domain from Hostinger. I'll paste it in here and we'll click continue. We can then click activate domain because we've already added these CNAME records. Don't worry about this, just click activate. We've done this manually, so don't worry. Okay, and it's gonna say verify. Then go back again to custom domain. You might have to go off it and then back on it. Click set up a custom domain. And now just enter in your root domain. So we've just added www.yourdomain. We're now adding the root domain. Click continue. Again, it's gonna say confirm these records, which we've already added. Activate domain. And there you go. You can see the www dot is already active. Your root domain is now verifying. We can just wait. Now this can take up to 48 hours, but provided you've followed along, you will be good. You just have to wait. So first we'll check www.yourdomain.com. So I'll copy it. We'll go to incognito. We'll paste it in. As you can see, it goes to the website here. Good news. Okay, and there you go. This one is now active. We'll test it. We'll copy it. We'll go incognito. We'll paste it in. Great news, it goes to the website also. So those are the three steps that you need to do. Me and ChatGPT kind of figured that out in a way to teach you in plain English. So I hope that was useful. Let me know in the comments if it was. It really helps out the channel. And do leave a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.